Trey Ratcliffe. Uh, welcome here to Milan, Italy. We're about to have a huge photo walk. I'm really excited. And the theme of this photo walk is going to be fashion, in particular street fashion. Uh, I looked this up. Have you ever wondered, like, why is Milan the center of fashion in the world? Um, it turns out that in the late 60s, when there's the women's rights movement, uh, women were finally allowed to wear pants. They could wear trousers, they could wear jeans. And that all started right here in Milan. And just after that, Versace and Armani and all these other great brands moved in. It continues to be the fashion capital of the world. So that's why it's our theme for the day. All right, so let's start the photo walk. Tonight's theme is going to be fashion photography. And the first one for fashion photography is actually something I got from a designer. I think it was Lagerfeld. He was being interviewed and they said, hey, what, what inspires you? You know, how do you come up with new ideas for outfits and clothes and things? He goes, usually it's because I see a mistake or something that doesn't make sense. He says, he told us one story, he got out of a taxi cab in New York City and it was a windy day and there was a woman walking by with a scarf or something that was blowing in the wind and he couldn't tell if it was a shadow or part of her dress and he was just like very confused by it. And he says whenever he gets confused by something, he gets inspired. So when you're walking around, if you see something that confuses you and doesn't quite make sense to you, just grab a picture of it because that's interesting. second fashion tip, and that is to find things that are interesting to you. If it's interesting to you, take the photo and don't worry about other people's reaction. And over time, as you start doing stuff that's interesting to you, you will end up becoming more interesting in yourself. It's really wild. The more creative you are, and the more you try different things, the more interesting you accidentally become. Viva l'Italia! Grande Italia! Final fashion photography tip, and that is when you find a subject that is interesting, you have to do your best to try to get separation. That is, you want your subject to be separate from other things so they stand out. It's more like street fashion photography tip. So maybe they need to be passing in front of a wall so they're not mixed in with other people. That's a way to do it. Another way to do it is to go down low and shoot them up high against the sky so they have a bit of separation. But when you have like one body that's mingled in with a bunch of other bodies, like we are, they kind of get lost. It's similar to shooting a tree. You know, sometimes it's really hard to take pictures of trees because they're often surrounded by other trees and they just get lost. So that's like when you go to a golf course or something. The trees stand alone and they're better shots. So think of the same way when you're taking pictures of people. 